I have one son, Hudson. He is 10 months old. Uh, so it's been a new adjustment getting used to the whole motherhood thing and not knowing what to expect and just getting thrown into it. So um, it's been an awesome experience though, just learning as we go. And um, my husband and I have been married for two years now. So newly married, new parents. So it's just been a whirlwind of changes. Uh, and then trying to figure out everything with work too um, has been an adjustment, but been fun and exciting along the way. It's the best feeling ever. I couldn't imagine my life without Hudson. So coming back after maternity leave, I was so excited to, to get back into my team. We had a lot of exciting initiatives going on, just a lot of potential growth for my team. And I am not a person that can sit at home and fill my time with, with different things. I was actually getting really anxious, even though I knew that I was going to miss Hudson in that whole transition. But I felt like for myself to feel uh, complete and for myself to feel fulfilled that I had to do this. Uh, it was not easy though coming back to work. I, I know the first couple of weeks are always the most challenging. Um, in my experience, it was the first couple of months. Uh, I was still trying to figure out my babysitting situations, making sure that I was getting him set up and packed appropriately every morning. I am not a morning person whatsoever, so that was the most challenging. I think the biggest thing to find strength and motivation in balancing work and home is relying on your peers and your leadership and knowing that Populous Group fully supports us in our, our families and fully supports us in our careers and being open and honest about it. But the biggest thing is knowing that Populous Group supports us in what we need to do. Knowing that we're going to make the best judgment for Team 2 um, to meet Team 1's priorities or vice versa, that you just have to make the right choices and, and they trust that we're going to do that and if something comes up, they know we're going to make up for it um, the following day just because of our passion and our drive around our work. And then also just opening up to our leadership. Uh, I know I talk to my leader all of the time about, hey, how, how's things going at work? And I'm like, they're going really great. Well, how are things going at home? Do you have that balance? Do you have that, that what you need to be successful? And you just have to be open and honest. If things aren't working, let's talk about it and let's readjust, um, whether it's flexible schedules or uh, times you come in and out of work or if you have daycare issues. It's like, let's just talk about it and get it out in the open and make sure that we're addressing it and not just thinking that you're failing or not succeeding in that area because you're running across different challenges. There's always a way to work around it and, and that's the best feeling to know that they trust us enough to make the right decisions there.